Our topic today is temple, which is Hedong Yonggung Temple. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Yes. And here we are again. My name is Peter. And I'm your host, Katie. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Katie, where are we? Ah, uh, because our topic today is temple. Okay. Yeah, so we are here at Yonggung Temple. Mm -hmm. yeah, have you ever Yonggung. heard about it? Yes, I've heard about it mm -hmm. a few times mm -hmm. with my friends. And I've seen a lot of pictures of Yonggung Sa Temple in the internet. But it's my first time to come here. Wow, it's awesome. How about you, yes. Katie? Have you um, been here? Yes. Well, when I was five, I think five. I went here. Yeah, so I don't remember exactly. But uh, anyways, I'm really happy to be here again. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. how about mm. going around here? All right, yes. let's go. Yeah. Let's go. hit the road. Let's hit the road. At the entrance of the temple, there are 12 zodiac figures to protect people from evil spirits and to wish people's five blessings. Hedong Yonggung Temple is the only place where they are existed in the form of models. We are in front of 12 zodiac figures and this is horse. Yes, actually guys, I was born from the year of 1990 and it's the year of the horse. And I think it really looks like you. Uh, <laughs> don't really? You think? Yeah. So should I say thank you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you embarrassed? No, I'm okay. Yeah, so yeah. let's go to the next one. Uh -huh. My stage. Yeah. yeah, to your stage yeah. sign. Let's go for monkey. Yeah, let's, uh -huh. let's go. As walking past them, there is a stone statue which has a big belly. This is called Happy Buddha, and there is a myth that touching his nose and belly make people have a son. Hey, hey Katie, what is this statue for? Mm -hmm. It's Buddha of granting a son, and a long time ago, many people are com coming here, coming here. <laughs> just to have a son, uh -huh. and they touch the belly and, and nose. the nose. Yeah. If they touch the belly and the nose, they will get a son. Yeah, that's right. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So let's go to the other <laughs> next one. Before we entered the temple, we headed for the place where we can see the beautiful whole view of the temple. Hey guys, right in our back is the Yunggungsa temple where people, most people take the pictures. Mm -hmm. And I've heard it is the best place to take pictures. Mm -hmm. So I regret not bringing my selfie sticks because <laughs> everybody holds it. Yeah, yes. that's right. Uh -huh. And I've heard, so apparently the pe most people came here when uh, it's Buddha's festival. The festival. Especially yes. at night because mm -hmm. they can take a lot of pictures of the lanterns. Mm -hmm. And I will, I'm looking forward to come into that day. Mm -hmm. And the night view is really, really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So next time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just look at that. You can see 108 stairs after Buddha of Granting Asan. These stairs were originated in Pekpalbe, which means 108 bows aimed at removing 108 earthly desires. This is called Lifelong stairs. So why yeah. it's called lifelong stairs? Because mm -hmm. it has 108 stairs. 108 stairs. Yes, it seems like our university. Yeah, just like uh -huh. in Dong University. Mm -hmm. But this has really special meaning. Um, uh -huh. It's there is a myth that if you move up and down the stairs, about uh -huh. 108 stairs, mm -hmm. um, you're gonna live long, like 108 ages. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Terrific. <laughs> so. Uh, Let's go. Talk. Let's go. Yeah. We found the lucky coin divination under the bridge where people throw coins and make wishes. On top of the temple, there is a giant statue of Buddha. You can also make wishes here.
So guys, we are here at the very top of the Yunggungsa Temple where people used to uh, pray and do their wish. Yeah, so let me teach you how to make your wish and pray in this place. Okay. Yeah. So first, mm -hmm. we're going to turn our back. Yep. And then our back. facing the ocean. Facing the ocean. We should pray and do our wish now. Yeah. And that's all. Hello guys. Well, we experienced all things in the temple. Yes. And how was it today? Today, it's kind of cold actually. Oh, freezing. Don't you feel cold? Yeah. And despite the coldness, we ha actually had fun today, knowing the place. And it's my first time, mm -hmm. as, as well as uh, Katie too. It's her first time to come here. So we had really had fun today. Actually, I was really stressful with my oh. assignments and presentations yes. and things like that. But um, here, I felt really peaceful in the mountain. Mm. Yes. I think all, I relieved my stress. Yeah. All stress are relieved. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And? <laughs> <laughs> and so actually, guys, this is our uh, last time of closing period of our Hit the Road project. So. Uh, it's sad to say, mm -hmm. but we're still happy that it's all finished now. I'm really sad. How's your feeling? Um, a little bit happy, a little bit sad. Yeah, same as me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to say something in Korean? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Before we end this show, I want to say something in media If you want to say uh, fighting. <laughs> Clog on your fighters. And that's all. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> No, my Korean is not that good. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, bye bye. Bye bye. You can take number 1001 bus at Tungai University bus stop and get off at Tating Apartment bus stop. And you have to transfer to number 181 and get off at Yunggungsa National Fisheries Research and Development Institute. The destination is about 10 minutes away by work. Um, I don't know. Hi guys! My name is Peter. Hi guys! Hi guys! Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 <laughs>